Uh, yo, welcome to another episode of Top or Not, where we react to new music um, that you guys suggest to us. Um, and just want to let you guys know, quick disclaimer, we do not own the rights to any of the music that we react to. Um, yeah, it does not belong to us. We are just people on YouTube who enjoy listening to new music and we react to it. Surprise. Um, also, <laughs> this is our first time reacting to these records. We want to make sure that we give you guys our genuine, honest reactions when we first hear these records. Um, we do understand that music is subjective and that sometimes when we hear music for the very first time, we may not receive it um, the way that you guys have received it. Sometimes it takes a couple of listens. But we want to make sure that you guys um, get our honest, honest reaction off of jump. So um, that's what we're going to give to you guys. So, damn, we got disclaimers now. <laughs> got to, man. We yeah. got to. I feel like I need to say my disclaimer one more time, too. Right, exactly. For all my South African um, audience, well, no, all my African listeners and subscribers, I want you all to know that I am Sudanese, okay? So, I might be might not be the African representation you want, but I'm still it. <laughs> <laughs> Look, here, this is what you got. <laughs> This is who we can find, okay? <laughs> I'm African. I'm African. And we are so happy to have her. She, she, Jamila's nothing but amazing. Austin's amazing, and uh, yeah, I'm just so glad to have oh you my. guys here, man. <laughs> yeah. Now you are amazing. You're part of the Top Hill Podcast, man. What you talk about? Stop playing with yourself. Goddamn right. <laughs> I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna stay in the Philippines. We're gonna do one more record here, uh, and it's from Daryl Ong. We reacted to a record from him. He's the one who did the uh, John Legend cover, The Ordinary People. Um, he also teams up mm -hmm. with um, the Budokel group as well, too. They said that we should react to his Brian McKnight medley. So. Hey, listen, listen. Before you press play on this, I'm a huge <laughs> Brian McKnight fan, okay? Uh-oh. Brian McKnight is the uh -oh. reason I sing, okay? Oh, shit. I, every karaoke. Wow. Every karaoke, I do uh, Brian McKnight. So, if this is ass, I'm gonna let it be known. And and it doesn't have to be bad to be ass. It could be just okay, and I'm gonna call it ass. It could be just okay. If it's just good, I'm gonna call it ass. I'm the cow of our podcast, and I know what you Right. I'm here for it, man. No, because Brian McKnight holds a special spot for me, bro. I'm just I'm just throwing it out there. And that's weird for me because niggas know I don't really care about the older people. Like, I don't care about the OGs in the game. But Brian McKnight, I care about. He's that guy. All right, man. I really enjoyed his John Legend cover. Let's see what he does with the Brian McKnight medley, man. Let's get to it. Which song is he doing? Goodbye. Um, I don't know. Maybe they have it here. Oh, you said a medley. Isn't that like a group of songs? Yeah, it's like, so he's doing three songs. He's doing Back at One, Six, Eight, Twelve, One Last Cry. Ooh, that One Last oh, Cry. Shit. That oh, shit. One Last Cry, yeah, though. This the one. Yeah. <laughs> hey, yo, don't forget to like the video, guys, and subscribe. Here we go. I'm It's plain to see that you're the only one 
Top five, top five, top five. Yeah. That was beautiful. Yeah. Simon, I mean, Austin, what do you have to say? He has my approval 120%. There you go. Absolutely, now, loved, it. Absolutely loved it. He hit all the notes I needed him to hit. And he threw his for more for good measure. His voice is so beautiful. But. It was missing something for me. <laughs> I don't know if it was missing some more bass or some more soul in his voice, but it was missing something for me. His voice was on point. He didn't miss a note. He hit those runs, but I still needed something. I don't know. I needed something else. I, I, it might have been a little. It might have been a little soul that that you can only get from a certain place. You know what I'm saying? I think. <laughs> But yeah, and that's like, and honestly, I, I think the first two were better than the. I think the um, first two were better than the last one. Yeah. I think he he like he just straight up killed the first two, like murdered them. You know what I'm saying? They were missing the soul too for me though. They sounded good. Don't get it twisted. I love yeah. it, but it didn't really hit me here where I wanted it to. <laughs> yeah, but um. Yo, I guess I'm Randy. Yo, I fuck with it, dog. Look. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh. hey, it went over my head the first second. I saw you. <laughs> I was like, he sounds just like Randy. I was like, hey. <laughs> Yo, man, I fuck with it, man. Look, man, you going to Hollywood. It's like, nah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man, I, I really enjoyed it. Um, I think this is just one of those jumps where, I mean, he obviously did not outperform Brian McKnight, but he just completed the assignment very well. I just think that he did exactly what he needed to do. If you're going to touch these records, you got to absolutely, you can't just be average. And I think he went above average on this. You know what I mean? He just wasn't. Absolutely. He just wasn't, you know what I mean, just mind-blowing. But very, very enjoyable to listen to, enjoyable to watch. Um, not mad at this at all. Uh, I want to hear more from him. At all. And, um, yeah, because, yeah, I'm a fan, man. I think it's dope. I think he's super talented. And shout out to our um, to our subscribers, man. I remember I asked the question, like, I want to know what the culture is, like, in the Philippines. Like, how do they have so many amazing, talented singers? Like, what what is going on there? And a lot of them were schooling us in the chat. They was just like, yo, like, it's – not uncommon for them to have karaoke like all the time. That's like what they do in their in their culture and stuff like that. And I was just like, I found that very interesting and, and dope that you. The one thing we do not do as Americans is sit down and listen to other people's music, learn it, and then sing it. Right. Yeah, that's true. Karaoke is like, I don't know. It's hard for us to do because you know pride and ego and stuff like that. So, but yeah. And that's we hit the crazy. same staples that they're hitting in covers. You know what I mean? Like. But that's crazy to me because I love karaoke. Right. I just like, said they can't sing for shit. It, <laughs> that's the thing though. That's the best part about karaoke is you don't have to be able to sing. You just got to enjoy yourself. Feel it. Yeah. Like if, if you enjoy yourself, everybody's going to rock with you. It doesn't matter. Like if you have a good time, everybody's going to rock with you. That's my favorite part about cruises is nobody cares if you're good or not. You just go up there and have a ball. Like, I have joined so many people on stage on karaoke, on cruises. Like, people that were doing bad. And they, like, I would just jump up on stage and just dance. Like, just party with them, bro. Like, it was amazing. First of all, if I was on a cruise and I was singing poorly and you got up on my motherfucking stage, <laughs> oh, no. Like, I what? Now, this is not a duet. I did not ask for a partner. Nah. Nah, they love it. They love it. <laughs> They love me on cruises. 
Yo, I love cruises. Yo, bring back the cruises, right? Like, fuck, get this Corona shit out of here. Anyway, I, that's like my favorite vacation <laughs> of all time. Like, yo, all you, all inclusive, all food. You go to different like places around. Yeah, man, put me back on a cruise, bro. Yeah. I've never all been right. on a cruise, and I want to go. Oh yeah, we definitely got to take a top oh, hill cruise. Then. Yes, absolutely. Like now, that's that's mandatory now. Like, go ahead and write that, <laughs> in, write that in your calendar. That, that, that's that's got to happen. Probably, probably next yeah. year, 2022, when they get when they clean some of this shit up on on this boat. Um, I'll, I'll be free. Got to happen. You know, gotta on my happen. bucket list, I want to go on the world cruise. Have you guys ever heard of that? It's uh, yeah, I've heard of them. It's like a 250 day cruise where they sail from London around the world and come back to London, and it stops at like every major city. Um, in the Ooh. world, yeah. You should, you should see Jamila's eyes when you said two hundred fifty days. She said, "Yeah, you're pretty much you know you're pretty much paying rent for a year to be to be on the cruise and just going all across the world." You know what I mean? Um, <coughs> yeah, that's on my bucket list. That, that's I'm probably going to do that for myself when I retire. Uh, but anyway, yo, thank you guys so much for. Uh, uh, suggesting this record to us. Don't forget to hit it, uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and let us know in the comments what song we should react to next. All right. Um. Top hill, top hill, top hill. They don't know. Top hill, top hill.